What's going on, guys? Elliot and Morgan here from Movie Files, here to give you guys our thoughts on the big movie coming out on March 9th, which we saw a little bit early, A Wrinkle in Time. So before we get into our pros and negatives and all of our final thoughts here, let's just talk about the segment level. This was one of your most anticipated movies in 2018. Yeah. So what made me most excited, number one, was the fact that it's Disney. I love Disney, so I'm a big fan yes, there. Yes, yes. Um, next was just the talent that was going to be on screen and mm. behind the screen. Um, and representation. I just think that's so important. So yeah. those those were the three main components that just made me very, very excited for this. Same here. The creative uh, behind and in front of the camera was something that brought me in. I wasn't really the biggest fan of the, kind of the trailers because I thought it was just more just kind of, I didn't really lay out the story, but uh, I was a big fan, like you said, what was uh, the package that brought the film together. So for you guys who don't know, this film is based off of a book that came out in the 60s, a very popular book, and actually spawned a 2003 movie that I'd never seen scene, but I know it was a Disney television uh, show uh, or movie that didn't get the best reviews. So very popular movie uh, created by Ava DuVernay, uh, produced by Disney. So let's jump right into the pros. So going off of what you just said about the cast and front and behind talent, that's really a big thing. I think this cast is so mm -hmm. great to see the diversity of the cast uh, from the top to the bottom. I think that this movie brought a really good cast to the screen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got some really heavy hitters yeah. in this movie, so um, that's always exciting to mm -hmm. just see really great talent together. Yeah, I mean, you got Oprah, you got Reese Witherspoon, uh, Mindy, you got the young uh, Storm you got Reed, Zach Galifianakis, mm -hmm. Chris Pine. A, a wonderful cast. Yeah. So, I mean, that was definitely a positive for this, uh, for me, for this film, is just bringing all those wonderful people into one film uh, and being led by them. My next point is this wonderful director, Ava DuVernay. Uh, is such a great voice in Hollywood. Um, she has a lot of things in the works. I'm super excited about her work. I know her name was brought up for Black Panther at one point. She it's some creative differences there. Uh, she's been brought up in the new uh, generation as far as Star Wars movies, a new mm -hmm. voice in the Star Wars universe. So she's just a great director. What are, what are your feelings on Ava? Yeah, I mean, number one, uh, well, number one, two, whatever way you want to put it, she's a woman and she's a woman of color. And I just think that's so incredible. Um, and I've just been seeing her everywhere. She's very talented. Um, so, so that was definitely exciting to yeah. know that she was behind this. Yeah. If you guys are looking for some positivity in a social media uh, world, follow her on uh, Twitter and all that. She's just such a powerful woman. And to mm -hmm. that point, an African, a woman of color directing a hundred million dollar plus film is mind. It's just a milestone in Hollywood. And it's such a good it's so step in the right direction yeah. for Disney is doing this too. So I'm just so happy that she was given this opportunity to put her her vision on the screen. Um, now another thing too that I loved about what this film brought was our our lead. You know, is a young African American woman played by Storm Reed. She's not a Jedi. She's not a superhero. She's just a regular kid. And I love that kids now can grow up with that image. Yeah. That you don't have to be, again, it's great to see this. You know us. We love superhero movies, you know, Star Wars. But it's good to see a human being leading the way and just being a regular human being and being yeah. a girl. And, and I think it's just great. Yeah. And I think there was a lot behind that. I mean, number one, she's a person of color, like Elliot said, which mm -hmm. is so, so cool to see, you know, a little girl really save the save the day, right? Save the world, um, yeah. And then also, you know, there is there is like a lack of women in science and this little yes. girl was just so like knowledgeable yes. and her expertise in science it was just really dope to see that yeah and so it's just, yeah it hit on so many levels mm -hmm. for sure and that's another thing too i think it's just so great to be able to see uh you know we don't have kids but we grew up with disney movies and it's great to see our nieces and nephews see uh, again uh, a uh, kids leading the way and positivity and there's a lot of messages in this film that mm -hmm. some of them didn't land as much because they were kind of targeted for a little bit of a younger audience but I can appreciate what they were trying to do so some of the messages land and then one of my final positives I think you agree with me there's a young uh, man uh, who plays uh, uh, um, Christopher Meg. Wallace yeah, Chris, uh, yeah. Charles, Wallace, Charles Wallace, who plays yeah. uh, the brother of our lead, uh, Meg. And I think he was just a cool, smart, yeah. little, intelligent young guy. He uh, reminded yeah. me so much of the little boy from My Wife and Kids. If you guys ever saw yeah, that show. Yeah, if you ever yeah, saw that show. He was so smart, like, intelligent, intelligent yeah. and just like witty and really yeah. cute. He really kind of stole the film for me. He did a really yeah. good job. The young man is awesome. So... With that being said, there unfortunately are some negatives with this film. I think it kind of outweighs the positive, unfortunately. We'll kind of talk about that. Just jump right into uh, the story of this uh, movie. You know, the writer uh, who's who's written this film, Jennifer Lee, has had some great credits in her name. Wreck-It Ralph, you have Frozen. She's director of Frozen, one of two directors of Frozen. She wrote it. Uh, Zootopia, she's one of the writers of Zootopia. 
great stories, great movies, but unfortunately, I think they really kind of hit on the... It was kind of bland and generic for me. I think that they really kind of... Which, this is a kid's movie, but I think the beauty of Disney movies is they typically do a great balance of kid movie with adult themes. I think they just really hit on the kid elements. It was just kind of bland. Yeah. 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 Some of the lines just... Felt so out the of dialogue, place. Yeah. The dialogue, yeah, it just felt kind of weird. So. Yeah, it was just very. I, I can't think of any other word. Maybe lack just, of chemistry. I don't know. Yeah, it was just generic writing to yeah. me. Just some really bad dialogue at points, guys. Uh, another thing too, which we said, this cast. You know, like I said, you have a stellar cast. I mean, you have Chris Pine as you know, and uh, Goo Goo, and like I said, the young actress uh, Rain Reed. Stormy, Stormy Reed. Stormy Reed. Uh, I keep saying Rain because her name's Storm. Rain, Storm. Uh, Storm yeah. Reed, and you have Oprah, you have Reese for the Spoon. But some of the acting at points, again, it was like, I don't know. And I would love to know you guys' comments if you read the book. It, it, it just didn't translate well to me. It's just like it was just Same. something yeah. weird going on. It's kind of like if you guys ever seen Tomorrowland where you have these great actors and actresses, but it was just something was just flat yeah. about the acting of some of the moments and some of the important moments, especially towards the end of the movie, which kind of leads to my next point with some of the relationships. Just. You have this dynamic of a, a dad that's gone missing, and you have this kind of, you know, you want to see them back together, but when that moment, when they kind of interact at points, it was just like... It yeah, it was rain. a little awkward. It was yeah. a little, yeah. Um, and I'm just going to say, obviously, no spoilers, but there is a storyline with the dad and daughter mm-hmm. at the end that just kind of bothered me. <laughs> it, it was kind of awkward. And when you guys see the film, you'll kind of notice that there's yeah. a point where the dad does something very crazy that doesn't yeah, really get addressed. Yeah, kind of messed up. Yeah. And then it's just like, all right, let's just push it under yeah. the rug and move on. So that was unfortunate, which kind of leads us to my next point. One of the things that did kind of draw me into this film, other than the talent, was, you know, just going into different galaxies and different universes. Unfortunately, guys, the, pro- the uh, production design and some of the CGI and the, and the creatures that's in this film... For being a Disney film, a hundred million plus, and for it being movie, 2018, I was some surprised. Some of the uh, VFX were bad. They almost looked like they yeah. weren't finished completely. Uh, Any more? Uh, Honestly, I would say the the little part with the dad at the end and the CGI were probably my biggest downfalls of this yeah. movie. Um, it just really hurt it for me. I mean, some of it was honestly laughable. Like I'm yeah. just like, this is not. I was just surprised, to say the least. Disappointed, I think um, is the word. Yeah. At, you know, for it to be 2018 <clears throat> and to see imagery like that, it just was very underwhelming. Yeah, so that leads into, we'll just kind of wrap up here, guys, our final thoughts. Um, I have to say, unfortunately, this wasn't, I was a little disappointed with this film. Again, Ava DuVernay, the talent behind it, I, they're wonderful people and I love, but I just feel like this movie kind of landed flat for me, which kind of leads to my score, which is a two out of five. What yeah. About it? I'm going to give it a three out of five mm. because I really do respect the story yeah. and the cast. Yeah. So I still do feel that the pros, after kind of sitting on it, it all, yeah. um, I still feel like the pros outweigh the cons. Sure. But um, I was just underwhelmed because I was so excited for it. You yeah. know, it's like, I think we all have that feeling of being so excited for a show <laughs> or a movie. Mm-hmm. And then you see it and you're like, oh. So really for me, it was yeah. the CGI and then that storyline. It bothered me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for me, and final thoughts to guys, it's a 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5 from Morgan. I don't normally recommend a 2 out of 5 to go to the theater to show, but the biggest message, I think, from this film is the diverse cast, the Ava DuVernay, Disney giving her a chance. I want you guys to go support this film um, because we want more stories to be told by women of color, minorities, uh, diversity. We want to see that on the big screen. So I would, even though I wasn't the biggest fan of the film, I would still recommend you guys seeing it for we can get more of this talent on the big screen and also having people direct things like this. So it's a little... Yeah. Sc- and absolutely. Yeah. I think, you know, to each their own. Yeah. Um, and, you know, some people may not be as picky with CGI and things of that sure. nature, but the story... It was, it a, was a good there. message. Yeah, it yeah. really was. Um, so, yes, I would also suggest checking it out yeah. in the movie theater. Definitely. Um, yeah. Yes. Just kind of develop your own thoughts. Definitely, guys. So, with that said, that's our review. Leave your comments in the in this comment section. Let us know if you read the book and if you guys are excited about this film. And also, tell me some of your favorite Disney films. This is a Disney fanatic, so I want to know what you guys started. love with the, the Disney brand behind it. So with that being said, comment below, like, share, subscribe to our channel. Look out for some more content coming out pretty soon. Tomb Raider, Thoroughbreds, some awesome stuff coming up for you guys. So keep an eye out for that. This has been another review by Morgan, Morgan Elliott from Movie Files, and we'll see you guys again shortly.